What's good, West Nation? It's your boy Was coming to you with another Apex Legends video today. Now, Respawn just had their dev stream and they released a lot of great information. We got a Gibby nerf. Uh, we also have a Bloodhound and a Crypto buff. So, before we get into all these patch notes, make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, make sure you follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description below. Now, I like what Respawn doing with this the heirloom crafting material right so you know how normally you open up 500 packs you'll get a random heirloom set they're changing the whole game now you open 500 packs you will get heirloom shards now with these shards this give you the ability to pick whatever heirloom you want that's available at at the time you know that you don't already have so for example if you already got a raked heirloom you can't get another raked heirloom you, it just doesn't make any sense but you can get a power finder a bloodhound a lifeline or even an octane all right now i know a lot of you probably like, was what can we refund our heirlooms no you can't refund your heirlooms guys look whatever heirloom you already got you stuck with it all right ggs i'm sorry you didn't get the wraith or the bloodhound uh heirloom but it is what it is it's okay though so now this time you have the ability to pick whatever you want so yeah you guys want me to do a 500 apex uh pack open let me know down in the comment section below now i need all my bloodhound mains to raise your hand right now and drop a like on this video. All right, go ahead and do that right now. Because look, Bloodhound getting a buff. Bloodhound buff is increase the scan distance for Eye of the Father times three. Now, we're going to um, play a clip of the dev explaining it right now. What talk about is um, Bloodhound. So they're getting a buff. Mm -hmm. And previously in 4.0, we already buffed their ultimate, with, where you, if you down someone while you're using their, their ultimate, they would extend by five seconds. Uh, I've seen some pretty cool kind uh, of. But so that I've been on phone with them. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so, uh, so the next one thing we want to do to try to elevate Bloodhound is uh, we're going to buff their scan, and the way it's going to work is the range of their scan is going to increase three x. I think the previous amount, the previous number was a thousand units, and now it's up to three thousand units. So it's a three x increase to the to the scan range. But to compensate for that, we're going to slow down the activation time on the scan for the kids. Used to be 0.4 seconds. Now it's 0.8 seconds. So it's double the, the, the activation right. time. The no, time. it's the the time it takes to activate the skin to hit the button. I got you. And the reason for doing this is we the intent is that um, we want bloodhound players to kind of come up on a town and maybe see some markers and then use the scan to scan the town, but not use the scan kind of in the middle of the fight and then hit the button to scan and then gain an advantage and peek around the corner and shoot the guy right. They pretty much don't want people using his tactical during fights. He, they want them to use it pre-fight. Me personally, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the purpose of Bloodhound. I'm supposed to be able to track you. And if I can't track you in a fight or scan you through a fight, I don't think that is fair. You know, because I'm not looking at the ground while I'm running and shooting tote, tote, pop, pow, you know what I mean? So, I, I don't know. But mm, to me, it's, it's, a, it's a nerf buff. It's a birth. That's what I'm going to call it. A birth. I'm not going to lie. I chuckled a little bit when I read this. So Gibraltar's gun shield is going to be reduced from 75 to 50 HP. All right. Um, I still don't think that's fair. <laughs> I still don't think you'll be able to 1v1 a Gibby by yourself. Uh, now, honestly, what they should do, uh, they should let Crypto's EMP affect his gun shield. Uh, they should also actually reduce the time his gun shield regenerates. You know what? Even make his gun shield 25 health. So that way you can you can give him some kind of help because his hitbox so big. But at the same time, when you shoot him, you don't have to fight through a blue shield and then fight through a purple shield, then fight through his health. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? When he just fighting straight to your purple shield and your health, I don't think that's fair. I don't care how big somebody hitbox is. Get your aim up. You feel me? Straight facts. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I don't really think this is going to hurt Gibraltar mains of season four anyway, you know, especially with the fast heal, fast revive, all this extra mumbo jumbo. So, uh, yeah, uh, respawn, we got to do better. We got to, <laughs> you know what? Just take away the gun shield. Give him something else. Take away the gun shield. Give him something else. Uh, you know, don't give him a grapple hook. Give him anything else but that. Huh. <sighs> Gibby. Now, crypto buff is definitely needed. All right. So, uh, crypto buff is primary weapon will not automatically reload while in drone view. 
Now, we all know it's crypto. You hop in a drone, you, you travel your drone 30 some plus meters, your team go rush, you're by yourself, all right? You don't want to have to go into a firefight, pull out your drone, get out your drone, reload. Now, that could be used in a very aggressive manner depending on who has crypto because if you, oh, wow, that's amazing. If you just hit your drone, go in your drone, come back out, you've got an automatically reloaded weapon. So, honestly, you know, right now it depends. Uh, I would love to see some top crypto players uh, use this ability. I'm pretty sure they're going to find a nice way to make it work. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this crypto uh, primary weapon automatic reload. Uh, I feel like this is going to be so insane come rank because crypto can knock down Watson and then automatic. It's going to be crazy. We're going to see some, some fire stuff with this. The Peacekeeper got a nerf, all right? Now, it's a nerf that's been well needed. Uh, the mag size goes from 6 to 5. The reload speed goes from 2.5 to 2.65. The increased reload time from an empty mag is 3.5 to 3.6. But they do increase the blast pattern from 1.6 to 1.7. Now, I'm going to explain why this nerf um, makes a big difference. It's not even really with the mag size. You know, a lot of people spam PK, uh, PK shots. But now, your shot's going to have to matter even more. Because the increased reload time, and especially the increased reload time from an empty mag, because a lot of people just keep spamming PK shots, and they say, no, boom, you out of five shots already. It's going to take you 3.5 seconds to reload that PK. Somebody can come around the corner and clip you with an R99 in probably 2.5 seconds. So, honestly, it may not seem big on paper, but in gunfights, those reload speeds really do matter. You got to learn how to move and move out of, of um, cover. So, yeah, I'm going to be excited to see how people, uh, people are still going to clearly pick up the PK because, I mean, you do 100 plus damage if you hit somebody. PK is still going to be a, a weapon of people's choice, but now it's going to take very skilled people to use it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this a nerf or a buff. I would call it a birth. Uh, inventory. So, the base inventory goes from 8 to 10. The common backpack goes to 12. The rare backpack goes to 14. And the epic backpack goes to 16. So, if people don't know, that is white, blue, and purple. Um, the grenade stats go from 2 to 1. The light energy, the light heavy and energy ammo goes from 80 to 20. Now, that is a big difference, in my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is, whatever. Uh, syringe and shield cell stats go from 6 to 4. And med kit and shield batteries go from 3 to 2. Now, honestly, I, I'm glad they did the med kits that way because I didn't think you really need three med kits anyway. Uh, but it does kind of hurt to know that your your syringes will go back down to four. So um yeah um like I said I really wouldn't call it a buff I really wouldn't call it a nerf so I call it a buff. Uh, you really won't know how drastic it is until um you will play with it tomorrow. I do see how it can stop grenade spamming at the end of the game. So I'm pretty sure that's what they wanted to do because you know a lot of pro players or a lot of um tryhards would probably run four arc stars, four frags, four thermites around in game time. You know, um, most people that just play casually, they don't know anything about that. So I do like what they did there. Um, I want to I, be dope to see how the meta change up. May not see that as many Watsons at the end of the game now. All right, Watson Nation, those are all the patch notes that I deem worthy of a video. If you want to read the full patch notes, I will leave a link in the description below. If you haven't joined Was Nation yet, before you click off this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what patch note you're most excited for. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Somebody coming down. That's perfect. That doesn't mean he in the drone. Hey, buddy. Hey, right here. They down below.
Oh.